hi and welcome to this video i will go through the suitability analysis that we did in class where for, the, for long beach for locating a new suitable um, place for um, long care facility well in this analysis we did in class we had three variables that we're working with supply demand and access all right the supply was the number of birds available in the current facilities within the study area the demand was the number of people over 65 within that study area and also the access which is the distance you know from major streets pretty much what we're interested in this is a mathematical formula that we use demand minus supply divided by access all right now analysis was not weighted in in other words we did not assign a, patent, a percentage of importance to demand supply and access all we did was we just perform a row on raw subtraction and with division okay so that's what we what we did and we will start how we'll walk you through the, the procedure again for the benefit of you being able to do that at home all right so the first thing we had to do was to ensure that our extension special analysis extension was checked on and then the first first thing uh, the second thing we had to do was to generate a, um, a straight light distance for the major streets because what we're interested in is um, is a closeness closeness to uh, major streets so that's what we had to do so that will go under this toolbox um, special analysis tools if you go on the distance you're going to see a Euclidean distance double click on that That'll be your screen. Your input is going to be the major streets. Um, keep the default settings. And then hit on OK. Then let's take a look at what the output is going to look like. OK, it's running down there. So that was the first thing that we did. All we're doing is just generating generating um okay so you realize now I did not do something right as we did in class so let me remove this and go back into the Euclidean distance that would be my major streets the same you have to go to the environment go to processing extent and then set it out to the long beach track all right and then we can go to analysis and then the max we will set it up also to the long beach rod. Alright. So now let's run it again. Now setting that environment is going to ensure that the street line that we, we create, the distance that we, we generate is going to cover the whole study area. So the lighter yellow shows the closeness to the major streets and it goes that way what we are interested in is to look for places closer to the major streets to make it uh, to make our location more accessible to the general public so that was the first thing that we did the second thing we had to do was to generate generate a raster right so that was the second thing that we had to do was for this people uh, over 65 which is we have to convert this information if you open the attribute table in our long beach chart you're going to see that we have a field say over 55 so because this long beach chart is a polygon we will use the convert to um, raster to which is found in the convention to say to raster you're going to see feature to raster so our input is going to be the long beach right our field is going to be over 65 very important all right once again let's set up the environment processing extent should be the same even we don't need that because this, we don't need to set the environment because the sensors um, the sensor strike is there's a max that we want all right so that's what we're going to do um, I believe our 
output rasta is correct, so hit on OK. Then that is going to generate a new surface for us. So this is our output. All right. Okay. So the next thing that we had to do was to create a third um, raster from the facilities. So because it's a point, we're going to create a point density. So if you go back onto your spatial analysis tools, under density, you're going to see point density. Our input is going to be facilities. Our population uh, population field is supposed to be n bears, right? And then our what we need to do over here, our output extent is um, that's correct, but our search radius we need to change it down to 0 0.012, which is equivalent to one mile search radius, right? And then Let's go to the environment and then ensure that our processing extent is set to the Long Beach track. And then our in our raster analysis, our max is also set to Long Beach track. Alright. And now let's process that as well. So this is our output of our, our raster analysis showing uh, um, our point density showing um, the number of bears, which areas have more bears, and so on. All right, so that was what we had to do. Okay, now when we were done with the raster, we had to do a process called reclassification. So we had to go and use the reclassify tool to reclassify our. Um, rasters that we just, the three rasters that we just generated. So same is still, rust, uh, real class is still under the special analysis tools. So go to real class and look for real classify. All right. Okay. That's the first one we had to do. The first, the first one we had to real class was the distance. So we go and look for our distance, a set to value, and then we're supposed to hit on the classify. Okay, computer is thinking. So hit on the red class and then set this value to three. And then change this to manual and then go and input in the range, which is. 0 0.006 0 0.012 0 the third one will be the same and then hit on OK now that is going to reclassify the streets into three classes because pretty much our objective is to find the closest distance to the street so we don't care about four you know the further you go away we want something that is close to the street that's why we are using the three classifications. All right. So the next thing that we had to do was to also reclassify the um, the sensor track that we we generated. So that we were going to use what quanta. So hit on reclassify, and then. And then use quantile set the classes to five, and then hit on OK. All right, that's how we're going to reclassify that. So that has also been reclassified to five classes, and then we will repeat the same for the density as well. Reclassify the density, which is a point density. Reclassify to five and then set it up to quantile. So we've been able to reclassify our layers from first moving them to the rasters. We've reclassified them into the three different classifications. 
So pretty much we are almost done with our analysis. Because our analysis was not a weighted overlay, we just have to apply this the formula, which is um, demand minus supply divided by um, assets. All right. So to do that, we have to use what we call the raster calculator. So if we go to map algebra, you're going to see raster calculator. So double click on the raster calculator, it will bring this screen to you. Okay. Now, what we are looking for is to build an expression which is going to tell, um, which is going to evaluate um, the formula that we use. Now, the same principle of um, of um, the basic algebra apl applies over here. So we'll first bring a parenthesis, and then we are going to say is what your over 65 is your demand. So it is the red class of this. I know the name minus my supply, which is my point density. Then I'll close the bracket. All right. Then I'll bring the device sign divided by my red class of the assets. But because I want this operation to perform first before it does perform this, I'll put them all in a in a parenthesis so that the system will know that well even because this is in a bracket it's still going to perform this one first before it does the second one so even if we go that way it should still work so with that um, let me set up the ex processing extent to make sure that it's going to give me an output which is covering my study area all right, let me max it up to my Long Beach right as well. Hit on OK. And now let me perform my final calculation to see if my suitability is right. So that is your su your suitable um, locations. You know, the green areas are the most suitable ones. Then if, if followed by the dark green areas. And then it goes to the white from my legend, then it goes to the pink, all right? Then the negative one, the zero, zero then it goes to the zero, and then it moves in, in that sequence, and the, the, the zero, zero is here. So this is how your suitability analysis is gonna be. It's gonna give you a range of uh, not suitable if you take a look at the negative four, it is right here. Why? Because you have an existing facility so close by. Sim the similar one over here as well, because you have existing facilities close by, it is not the most suitable place to look, look at. If you take a look at negative three, look at the color, and once again, you can see that it's also so close to an existing facility, which, has, which have enough uh, bears available for seniors. So this is how you interpret your uh, suitability analysis. You can go ahead and change your symbology um, you can change it up to something else um, another color that you most like if you don't like the green let's go for something something red um, then let's flip the colors so the red areas are not the suitable areas the green the light green and the dark greens are the are the most suitable in that order. So this was the first analysis that we did, um, the suitability analysis that we did. Uh, in the next video, I will do the same thing, but this time we'll build it up in the model. All right. So um, we'll follow up right now with the next video. Thanks.